Over the past few years, lithium batteries have taken the RV and overlanding scene by storm. This game-changing new technology has created a lot of chatter, leaving people asking questions about how to upgrade and if lithium batteries are worth the investment. We are Ben and Rebecca of Outliers Overland, and two years ago, we replaced the lead-acid house batteries in our expedition vehicle for battle-borne lithiums. And within those two years, we have been on the road full-time for 14 months and 25,000 miles covering the North American continent from the top down to the bottom in Baja. Twice, actually. Now, over this period of time on the road, we have camped in an extreme range of climates and conditions, from the warm Mexican beaches to 20 below on the Alaska Highway, and everything in between. Before sharing how we upgraded our camper's battery system, let's talk about the benefits of lithium batteries. Firstly, you can discharge them 100%, which in some cases doubles your usable power. And there's also no charge memory, which means that you do not have to completely discharge the batteries before recharging them. And there's also a greatly increased number of charge cycles which means these lithium batteries can last up to 10 times as long as lead acid. This in turn reduces the environmental impact to the batteries because you don't have to replace them as often. Plus, they do not emit dangerous gases known as off-gassing, so you can install them indoors. And because they are completely sealed, this means that they are maintenance free, so there's no cleaning of battery terminals or adding distilled water to the cells. And when you look at the uh, amp hours, the lithium batteries are one fifth the weight of an equivalent amp hour battery bank of lead acid. So what this means is more power and less weight. In early 2018, we met up with Sean Nichols, COO of Battleborn Batteries, to help us determine exactly how much power our expedition vehicle needed. See, our camper is kind of unique in that it runs fully off of 12 volt electricity and diesel fuel for all of our lighting, heating, and refrigeration needs. So battery power is kind of critical. Yeah, and the following week, we met Sean in Quartzsite, Arizona and picked up three 100 amp hour Battleborn lithium batteries, a 60 amp progressive dynamics battery charger, and a really cool Victron battery monitor system. Then we proceeded to Rebecca's uncle's house in Yuma and then hooked up with our friend Dan, who's an engineer, and jumped into the upgrade. First off, our old lead acid batteries sat on the outside of the camper. And between the fact that we didn't want these gems sitting out in plain view, as well as the fact that lithium batteries will discharge but not recharge in temperatures below freezing, they had to be brought inside. As long as we are dismantling our electric system, we decided to do some upgrades too. Aside from me grossly underestimating the amount of time it was gonna take to upgrade our truck's electrical system, the process went very well. And thankfully, with Dan's engineering background, we actually did a far better job than just Benny would have done all on his own. So we did not rush the process. Every step was calculated and strategically thought out. We worked for about four hours a day, then tested that day's work to ensure safety and proper function of the components. Five days later, we had Battleborn Lithium Power on board and we're heading to Baja, California. Two years into having Battleborns on board and we can say we are thrilled and beyond happy with the quality of the product as well as the workmanship on the installation. And the best thing that we can say about Battleborn Lithium batteries is that there literally is nothing at all to say. And that has to be the highest compliment for a battery because it just works in the background 100% of the time and we have all the power we could ever need. It's so true. And when combined with the 520 watts of solar we have on our roof, Honestly, we wake up most mornings with 100% charge on those batteries. And I'd have to say, the ultimate test was traversing the Alaska Highway pretty much one week out from winter solstice. 
Aside from being 20 below for the better part of the journey, the sun was at its lowest point on the horizon for the entire year. And that made for less than ideal conditions for a solar powered camper. But with the help of an occasional boost from our truck's alternator, we were able to maintain the charge on our battery bank. As you can probably imagine at these temperatures, we had both of our 12 volt diesel heaters running all night to keep the camper toasty warm and the engine from freezing up. But in these conditions, even we were waking up with 40 to 50% charge. You gotta say that's pretty impressive. So in the spirit of full disclosure, we need to share that we're partnered with Battleborn. They gave us the deal of a lifetime on our three batteries and Progressive Dynamics charger and Victron battery monitor system, but this does not take anything away from our review. It is genuine and honest. And if you found this video helpful, you can show your appreciation by using our link to Battleborn's batteries in the video description below. All that aside, getting back to the question we asked at the beginning of the video, are lithiums really worth it? My thought is, I don't even think it's a question to ask anymore. Yes, they are. If you want an improved quality of life where you don't even think about your electrical needs anymore because you always have ample battery supply. So if you're looking to upgrade to lithiums, we totally recommend Battleborn batteries. And we have to say thank you to Battleborn and thank you guys for watching this video. We'll see you on the road. That cloud that's getting hit by the sun going down is reflecting off the water right in line with that cat. That's beautiful.